Hi, so today I want to show you how I went full on Ariana Grande and I saw it, I liked it, I wanted it and I got it. And we are of course speaking of an aesthetic regency early 1800s Jane Austen inspired 2020 Emma Autumn the Wilds movie based picnic. Of course, <laughs> I'm sorry. We started off with the outfits and I just decided to wear a dress that I've made a couple of years ago and a bonnet that I accidentally found that I made back in like 2013. That was one of the first things I ever made. And my sister didn't have anything, so I thrifted some curtains and bed sheets and I made her a pair of stays, a petticoat and an overdress. And I didn't really use any pattern, so I just I just cut out random tra trapezoids and drape the bodice on her body. And despite the fact that it's all unfinished and raw like a sushi and it's closed with pins, I think it turned out really cute on her. We did some research and to be honest, Regency era recipes are all like, here, take some geese fat and mix it with wine and lemon and ta-da, here is your dessert. So that combined with the fact that we were exhausted and kind of lazy resulted in us not cooking at all. What a surprise. Gosia ruining a shot. She never has done before. <laughs> For our picnic day, it was supposed to be hot and raining later during the day, so I woke up really early, I mean before 8, and I got some fresh flowers and my sister bought a lot of fruits. And when we got on the tram around 10, we found out that there was an accident and the route is diverted, so, so that combined with a heavy ass basket <laughs> resulted in us arriving at the park uh, very exhausted and sweaty and generally uh, displeased. So setting up the picnic took us a while because we wanted things to look nice. And we also hid all of the modern looking stuff inside the picnic basket, which was very convenient, I must say. And we had lemonade and we had some nuts and some dried fruit and sugar coated almonds and marzipan fruits and strawberries and berries and raspberries and plums and my sister insisted on a block of cheese and some rolls because we read this one article about Georgian and Victorian picnics and it listed a piece of cheese <laughs> as a picnic essential so we got that. <laughs>
first while things were still you know looking nice and uneaten and then uh, then we just picnicked I guess <laughs> I tried to recreate the iconic Emma shots, but we forgot I'm not Anya Taylor-Joy and I don't actually know how to eat a strawberry prettily, so it didn't quite work out. And I then put on a recorder recital. And then we read the Box Hill picnic chapter from Emma and that was actually really nice. Okay, and then we realized the storm is coming, so we quickly had to eat the remaining food and we got back home literally just in time to avoid getting wrecked by hail. Anyway, we had a lot of fun, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you feel inspired to host your own Emma style picnic one day. Uh, bye!